Good. Let's yeah. take a look here at an exchange. I quote this. I think there's going to be a hot debate here among pro-choice circles. Here's something uh, that uh, they both were talking about abortion. And then I think John McCain said something that's going to be troubling for those mm -hmm. for those pro-choice voters out there. With respect to partial birth abortion, uh, I am completely supportive of a ban on late term abortions, partial birth or otherwise, as long as there's a exception for the mother's health and life. And this did not contain that exception. Just and again, an uh, example of the eloquence of Senator Obama, he's health of the mother. You know that's been stretched by the pro-abortion movement in America to mean almost anything. Uh, that's, that's the extreme pro-abortion position, quote, health. Well, well that, that health. Yeah. Did you see how he did the health in the quote yeah. marks? That is going to cause him more trouble because here we are at a stage where women are being considered to have a good shot at the American presidency, certainly the vice presidency. <laughs> women are seen as equal to men in rights and respectability and authority and all the good things in American life. And here he is putting down women who have a health concern with, along with their well, doctors for well, having an abortion. Yeah. You can't. Also impeach the right of a woman to have a health concern. Oh, you can't also, make a joke out of it like not, this. It's not, it's not an extreme pro-abortion position. It's a position of the United States Supreme Court. And I doctors, mean, Barack Obama is not way off on the left on this one. Know. He's supporting the law of the land. Oh, so this is an example of how ideology can send you right over the cliff. This he, McCain was trying to be ideologically perfect for his core constituency, right. making fun of the health right. exception. It sounded cruel. Right. I know what he was saying as a matter of argumentation on the floor of the senator when he's talking to a pro-life group. When you say that in public before a bunch of undecided voters, right. it sounds uh, yeah. cruel. It right. just the, doesn't sound one right. One of the it's issues like the of this campaign is, and I've been part of it, is getting greater sensitivity to women and their rights and their authority in this society that we share, right? Yeah. And to put that down as something like, would he say health for a male? Yes. A male's well, health concerns. Well, then you should be, you should be glad that, 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 that he uh, kept I think mentioning he's gonna, Hillary Clinton I think Clinton it, that's going to be an issue with not just the organized uh, abortion rights issues people, but a lot of voters out there listening right now to this conversation. They're saying, here's three guys that noticed it.